Never did I ever think the topic of women sizing for sneakers would be my most viewed video on the channel, but that's exactly what happened over the last year. And I appreciate you if you viewed that video. I certainly hope it was helpful uh, if you searched it out, but let's go and update that video. I think I can add a little bit more value, definitely touch on other brands. And yes, Let's just start with the universal conversion for women's to men's, which is also equivalent to boy sneaker sizing. So before we dive all the way into the video, ladies, please listen up right now and through the rest of the video, take your women's size, your women's size, subtract 1.5 from that size, and this will equal your men's sizing for sneakers. It will also equal your boy size for sneakers, provided you don't wear higher than a women's size eight and a half. In your women's sizing, if you're higher than an 8.5, you have now sized out of boy sneakers. Uh, let, me let me say that again. So men's and boys will run congruent or equal together. So if you have a men's seven, for example, um, that will equal also a boy seven. Now the fit may be a little different in terms of the specific models, but universally a men's seven will equal a boy seven. If you're a women's 8.5, for example, you would take 8.5 minus 1.5 to get seven. That would equal your men's size as well as your boy size. If you are higher than a women's eight and a half, let's say a women's nine, unfortunately you are now sized out of boy sneakers. You can no longer shop within the GS or grade school section. And to give you a little more insight, grade school will range from 3.5 youth to seven youth, and that will run congruent with men's sizing. So just wanted to throw that out there. Please be sure you reference the timestamp in the description box if you just want the basic math and conversion. Your women's size minus 1.5 will equal your men's size or your boy size. If you are higher than a women's eight and a half, you will simply convert straight to men's sizing. All right, now I have a lot more to dive into. Let's get going. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still. Yo, TJ back another video on talks with TJ and we're talking sizing for sneakers again this time for the ladies just like the last video and I really do appreciate you guys running that last one up over the last year I'm glad it was helpful and again I think I can add just a little bit more value so this video will touch on different brands and models things I have discovered in terms of different uh, pairs that are now within the collection so the previous one really touched on Jordan we'll venture into Yeezy as well this go round but let me just break down the math again because ladies this isn't to be mean but you guys just didn't listen to me the last video not a lot of you the math take your women's size minus 1.5 to equal your men's size which is also equivalent to boys sizing okay got that again so that uh, math is also true in the reverse right men if you're trying to go for a women's exclusive sneaker you would take your men's size add 1.5 to that and that would actually give you uh your women's size for a sneaker but there's so much more to dive into so here we go. So here's another PSA. This video is to be helpful. I hope it's a good guide for you, but understand that we're all extremely unique. Our feet are also different. The way my foot is shaped is probably not how yours is shaped or anyone else's. The fit of a sneaker, depending on the brand and the model, may work for me, but it may not work for you. My fit preference may be a little bit different than yours. For example, some people like their shoes to fit a little bit tighter versus some like them to fit a little looser. Um, it's going to be different. Also, what are you using the shoe for? If it's just casually, if it's on the basketball court, if it's to run, our fit preferences and the way our feet are shaped is 100% different. It's unique to you. So trial and error will come into play. You may need to actually go into a store if possible to try on a specific model that you're interested in. So please just make sure you're accountable for that. If you have to go that route, it is what it is. But uh, what works for you, again, may not work for me so just keep that in mind when going over sizing. These when shopping for sneakers here's a heads up yes you can absolutely still shop in the 
boy section provided you wear a women's eight and a half and smaller here's the catch though depending on the brand you may not get a one-to-one -one of the kids sneaker versus a men's sneaker okay so the material may be different um any extras included such as accessories extra laces may be different the box may be different if you're going with a gs or grade school model and sizing versus men's that is often seen with jordan brand they may get a special box we may not get a special box so that is something to keep in mind if you're choosing to go for the boys pair versus a men's pair now if you are able to fit in a men's pair let's say a size seven then you can absolutely opt for the men's sneaker and you get everything that's included with that release and yes, full disclosure, in the past, I've actually passed on <laughs> GS releases for Jordan brand just based on the quality control for grade school versus men's. I haven't always had the best of luck with that. Um, and you've kind of seen that in a few videos here, like the Jordan 12 royalty. That's not to say it happens with everyone, but there are some quality control issues that's historically understood when it comes to smaller sizing. I'm sorry, ladies, we really do have to deal with that. Now in recent times for sneaker sizing, uh, uh, when it comes to women's exclusive drops right this is an amazing thing for us you'll see it a lot with jordan brand nike and even adidas and so many other uh brands as well the shoe is meant specifically for women so if you see a pair such as a ama manier uh jordan 3 or women's jordan ones or a women's jordan 3 4 for example and it says it's specifically for women it's sized in women's so for a women's release guess what you don't have to do any conversion Versions. whatever your women's size is just go with that so for example for me in the women's pairs i own that are jordan ones jordan threes um jordan 12s i go true to my women's size which is a seven and a half and you'll see that with so many pairs i own now a lot of us can always choose to go up a half size down a half size um it's really dependent on the model and again your foot if you're able to still comfortably wear a sneaker a half size down from your true size then go ahead and do that if you're able to comfortably wear one that's a half size up than your true size by all means do that as well but if it's a women's exclusive sneaker that releases ladies there's no conversion needed just go ahead and get your actual women's size truth may put my comments into shambles and it is what it is but i have to speak on it the universal conversion of 1.5 up or down to go from men's to women's or women's to men's it's actually not all that accurate and i uh, okay, so I just think from the perspective of them using that, I think it's based on the way that uh, a man's foot may be shaped versus a woman's foot, the width of a shoe. And over time, they realize that, oh, well, a one and a half conversion works for most uh, men and women. So we'll just go ahead and go with that in the industry. But let's look at the actual measurements in centimeters for a sneaker. And I'm not sure if any of you ever paid attention to the discrepancy on the boxes, especially now since they'll put the men's size and the women's size on boxes. It's actually pretty glaring. So if you look at a box for, let's say, a Jordan and it will say men's six, women's seven and a half. Have you ever paid attention to the centimeters? The men's six will measure at 24 centimeters, but a women's seven and a half will measure at 24.5 centimeters yeah that's not an equal one-to-one -one conversion in truth if we're looking at centimeters the women's seven and a half and centimeter length is actually equal to a men's six and a half I know that may or may not have just blown your mind in terms of sizing because you may have a men's six and your women's seven and a half and the six fits great I'm that way as well. There are a number of models, especially Nike and New Balance and even Adidas that I own, and they are a men's six or a boy six, but I'm a women's seven and a half, but it fits fine. For a lot of models, that 1.5 conversion will work. It's not gonna be the case for everyone. Some of it will depend on the fit of the shoe and the fit of your foot. So for me, for example, if it comes to any Jordan one, I don't care if it's a high, a mid, a low, um, I can't go with a six. It just just doesn't work it's uncomfortable for my foot I go up to a six and a half and that's a comfortable fit for me I actually do that for a few models it really just depends and yes sometimes you sacrifice a little bit of length even more just depending on if the shoe is a little oversized but I would rather have a little bit more room than my foot just be so constricted and the shoe so tight that it's actually really uncomfortable to wear but that's always kind of weighed on my mind and uh, I want to go ahead and just show you guys so if you have let's say in a 
Adidas box. They actually do a true one-to-one -one on their box. So if you pay attention, uh, let's say if I have a women's seven and a half sneaker, you'll actually see that that's equivalent for Adidas to a men's six and a half. It's 24.5 centimeters across the board for them. If we're talking one-to-one, -one, that's really how it should be, but that's not the case with a lot of other models, right? Again, if I take a look at a Nike box or a Jordan box, you'll see that the men's size in centimeters is actually off by 0.5 to its women's equivalent. Not to say that it won't work for you, but that is something just to keep in mind, and it's always comical to me. And hey, if you're a designer or you deal with lasts or different things like that, just go ahead and add some value in the comment section. Um, because again, in measuring my own foot I've, I've used the older brannick device okay um within stores for kid, kids foot locker and foot locker and if i actually look at where my foot the you know the the end of my big toe lands for women's it's just below seven and a half right so that would be my size i'm not going over that but for boys or men's i'm over the line of a six i measure just below a 6.5 and there are a lot of times now where a 6.5 works and I guess that brings us to, well, Yeezy sizing. So for Yeezys, I know this is a question that I get now um, with those added in the collection. You know, what size do you get? Do you go true to size? Do you go up a half size? And Yeezy sizing historically has just been off by a half size and they continue to use the same last they have since, I don't know, 2015, 2016. So we're just kind of stuck there. Uh, but for myself, I tend to go up a half size in any Yeezy model. Um, I went true to size or I have a true to size Yeezy in the 350 V2 bread. And let me be frank, I have to actually take the insole out to comfortably wear it because it is just such a tight fit. Going up a half size in any of the other models, it can still be a 350 V2, it can be a 700 V1, a 700 V2, a V3. I go up a half size and it works comfortably for for my foot. Now there are other Yeezy models where you need to go up even more. That's just based on the model of the shoe. That may be a knit runner, that may be the knit runner boot or even slides. I also go up to a seven. And again, um, I am universally a men's six. So that's just to add a little bit more value in terms of Yeezy sizing. I know that's a question I get on a lot of the Yeezy reviews or unboxings I do now on the channel. And yes, I tend to go up a half size no matter what in any of the models. If it's the knit runner, which I really adore in the stone carbon color way I have, I went up to a seven. Um, I would say definitely check out that video for my thoughts on sizing and just the fit um, of that shoe in general. But if we look at any other models too, like for New Balance, just me personally and again this is me personally it may not always work for you i tend to go true to size and new balance um they tend to just run a little bit wider now based on models that run really wide at least for my foot i'll go down a half size to a five and a half so for the 5740 that came out i absolutely adore that model and one of the pairs i have a a size five and a half but again it can depend on the actual just model itself sometimes a one release may fit different than another release and that's a real thing that happened so for the uh, rain cloud that i have i actually could have gone true to size with a six and it would have been just fine um so that's something to keep in mind that's why i said sometimes it's trial and error what works for me it may not work for you you may need to actually go in store if possible and try this specific shoe on to wrap up the video let's close out on air force ones because that's that's also a, a question i get quite a bit on the sizing video from last year and ladies before we dive into that this is this is you know just a just a cry a cry out for me please clean your air force ones okay i don't understand the dirty air force one trend i don't i totally get it with vans slip-ons authentics old schools i get them being dirty i i just i get it i don't uh the air force one low dirty trend i'm not really understanding okay but let's just go into sizing for that now this is based on traditionally when i've had people come into kids foot locker when i work there um how we would help individuals with sizing for air force ones again your foot may be different so take that into account you may need to go in store and try it on if you're buying a women's air force one at least based on my foot i just go true to size I have a women's seven and a half in the Air Force One Shadow. I really love that model. I went true to size, which is my women's seven and a half, and it works perfect. So more than likely, if you're buying a women's Air Force One, you're good. If you're not and you're trying to convert to men's or boys, ladies, please listen up, okay? 
Take your women's size. You would traditionally go down 1.5 to get your boys or men's size, right? So if you're seven and a half, you would subtract 1.5 to give you six in men's or boys. That would be for most sneakers in general. However, the Air Force One tends to run a little bit big. So from there, go down another half size, which would be a five and a half. Now, again, this is just based on sizing a lot of people for Air Force Ones. They would just, oh, I want my true size. And I'm like, okay. And if they were a woman that wore a seven and a half, I would bring out a size six and she would say it's too big. And I'd say, yeah, I know, because they tend to run a little big and we would size her down to a five and a half and that would work perfectly. So please, again, just keep in mind, this isn't going to be for everyone, but uh, when it comes to the Air Force One low, it tends to run a little bit big. So ladies, whatever your boys equivalent or men's equivalent would be, you may need to go down another half size for the perfect fit. And I know this one may not be like the most popular, but <laughs> if you uh, are interested in the fear of God, California model, just know that you um, you're really converting like your US size to EU size. And even then you're gonna have to go down at least for a good fit that doesn't slouch too much on your foot. So I'll go ahead and break down sizing again, just for what I use for myself. So I'm a women seven and a half. So traditionally, if I were to go to EU, that would be a 38. Uh, however, that would still fit too big in the fear of God, California. So I went down one size to a 37 in the oat and I love the way it fits. You can also try going down two sizes if you want a just perfect fit but no uh, if you're trying to wear thicker socks with going two sizes down it may not be as comfortable your foot may hang off the edge a little bit um, so that's something again to keep in mind but for fear of God California sizing whatever your EU size is I would just recommend go down one from there and you should be good to go and this is just the update to the women's sneaker sizing video I did a year ago I really hope this has been helpful um, if so just please be sure to hit the like button um, and comment below again if it's helpful ladies before before I close out, I just, I gotta give you the math again, okay? Because I know so many of you will ask in the comments, if I'm this size, then what is this size? Uh, I would also say if you need to answer immediately, Google is free and it will actually provide you a sizing chart for men's to women's and women's to men's. But take your women's size, subtract 1.5, that is your men's size, which is also equal to your boy size, okay? And another note, boys will end at a size seven. All right, so hopefully again, this video has been helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.